Jeffrey, congratulations. A superb comeback there. Some of your emotions right now. Uh, it feels great. Uh, it's it definitely. It's, uh, I've been looking forward to win a game of the the Ali Pelli stage. I've been qualified. I qualified a few times, so this is a, it, it's it's a dream coming true, basically, almost. And to win it in the way you did as well, you survived yeah. a dart to lose three 0 and to come back and win three two. You must be delighted with how you came back. I, yeah, for sure. I, uh, I never gave up, but uh, when he when he had the dart for the for the double, I, I felt like it was over because he had, didn't miss anything on the double. He did a few one hundred and one hundred plus finishes as well, where Abuela was on the double. So when he got the chance, then I felt like now it's now it's done. But uh, he missed it. And Your first time, it. first time back here in five years. How did you enjoy being back up on that uh, big stage? Yeah, it's it's a great stage. <laughs> I love I, lo I love playing for the for the world, and uh, yeah, it's it's a great great. Uh, so experience, but, uh, but it, yeah, it's, it's great to come back. And uh, the way I come back as well, I didn't expect it this way, but uh, I'm happy that, I, uh, that I'm back and that I finally won a game as well. It's your first win at any world championship in BDL or BGC, so another tick tick off the list. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now, now, now we just keep on going. So. Congratulations, brother. Cheers. Jeffrey, congratulations on the result. Were you aware that Richie was in the same position last year and, and he lost? So, at 2 down, did you still feel in the game? No, I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> did, did you still feel in the game though at 2-0? Oh, yeah. Still playing really well? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I felt, but even the, the second set, the first set I didn't play that great. But uh, the second set, uh, I, felt, I felt like I gave it away because I missed so many dodge for the double. So I just went back, set myself down and I felt like, well, okay, we just keep on going because I, I get my chances and I'm playing well. So I, I definitely felt like I'm, I'm going to get more chances and just take did the week you have at the Super Series before here help your match practice? It helped against the, the nerves, maybe. Uh, it wasn't the... Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's, it, it definitely helped because it's, it's good players, you play all week. But uh, when you lose so many times, I haven't lost so many games in a week. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what I did over there. So. John Lee Lasalle's up, up next. He's not had the, the best of, of years. Do you feel it's a game that you can attack and get at the seed? Uh, definitely. If, uh, if, I play my, my, if I bring my A game, I feel like I can win most games basically but uh, maybe not all of them because some of them are really good but but uh, yeah definitely I, if you say he's not in his best form if he's not bringing his a game then i definitely have a chance on winning yes. jeffrey i know you've played on the, the nordic and baltic tour as well how much has that helped your game playing over there it helped a lot because um, the Nordic Baltic, the, the, it took it took a while before I actually stopped winning games again because it was five years before I actually won a big tournament and the Nordic Baltic tour. It, uh, when I finally won my first game over there, I, I felt like from now I get more. I, I I felt my confidence was growing, and it, it gave me an extra push to qualify for the for the world. And yeah, definitely, it's, uh, it's helping a lot. It's been touched on, but your record in World Championship World Championships before today wasn't great. What was the feeling going into this match that you could win? Was there 100% confidence? Uh, it was, well, yeah, yeah. There, wa there was confidence that I could win, but uh, but I definitely I knew my, my year has been inconsistent, so I definitely knew it was like I need to play play good to win, because if I don't play if I don't bring my A game, then then I'm definitely not going to win. So that's that's how I felt. But uh, otherwise, no. you're now representing Sweden instead of the Netherlands, just talk us through the reasons why that's come about. Um, well, that's just, just because I played a PC Nordic Baltic Tour. Uh, you, you lost your choice. Uh, it's like when, when you play that tour, um, when, when I moved to Sweden, uh, it was hard to travel through all the, all the, all the tournaments. So it's, 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 it, the PC Nordic Baltic is a great way to, for the Nordic and Baltic players because it's, it's affordable, you get to play a tour and you get a chance to get to the world. So that's, that's, that's a good way to go. Jeffrey, you already touched on it, but you missed a second set dart to win that second set. What was going through your mind when you went off stage in that break? Not much positive. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, uh, yeah, it felt horrible. But uh, as soon as I came down, then I just tried to calm myself down and just keep. Uh, I felt, I felt like from my, I'm, I'm playing good, I get chances, just keep on, keep on going. So that, that's mostly convincing myself. If you look at Richard's numbers throughout the match, he progressively got worse set by set. Did you feel that on stage? Did you feel that maybe running out of energy towards the end? Yeah, yeah, I, f I felt I, uh, I was playing better. Not, not necessarily that he was playing worse, but I felt like I'm, I'm playing better. Um, the only thing is that I, my setups were not great. Uh, when, when I took a break, I had a hard time to play good sets directly after it or good leg after it. But, uh, but he, he was brilliant on his doubles and. I just didn't want to give him a chance. But 
it happened anyway. So. And we've seen you on the tour before. Is Q School on the horizon again for you? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I'm going. I'm going to Q School if I, if I, if I, if I don't get too far over here. But I was, <laughs> yeah. And where, where are the confidence levels at the moment? Obviously, your first World Championship win. Do you feel like if you go to Q School, you can get a card with a real impact in 2024? I do think so. I, I know I'm, I'm, my game is good enough to play with the best, but uh, but it's very inconsistent at the moment. So I, I definitely, but I definitely need to get like a, a steady, uh, what is it, consistent game. But if I also think that that will come when you get a two card. When you get a two card, you play the best players all the time. So you need you need to step up. Jeffrey, big well done. Thank you. Yes.